It's time for a 2023 ring review, and we didn't do too bad this year. Let's get started talking about them right now. Here we go. All right, we didn't do too bad in 2023. We had 138 and a half rings. Uh, I'm going to talk about some in specifically here in just a minute, but just to go over the, the totals here, we got 61.5, uh, I call them costume jewelry. Most of them are like a copper and they're plated with gold and plated with silver and stuff like that. We had 26 other metals that are corrosion resistant. This like titanium, tungsten carbide, stainless steel, things that, you, those rings usually don't deteriorate very good, so they, they really hold up well. Uh, we had 24 silver, sterling silver, which is awesome. I love getting the sterling silver rings. But I like getting the gold better. 23 gold rings. Uh, what, three platinum rings and one palladium ring. The first ring made out of palladium I've ever found. And palladium is an interesting uh, element. It's a silvery element and it comes out in the, in the uh, environment. But over 50% of palladium is used in um, catalytic converters because it actually converts 90% of uh, toxic emissions, you know, carbon monoxide, all into non toxic uh, gases, nitrogen or whatever, you know. So it's converting and all those. Uh, toxic stuff into non-toxic. That's why uh, catalytic converters are stolen so much because it's got palladium in them and they can take that palladium and it's an expensive metal and get it out of it and melt it down and get money for it. But anyway, 50, over 50% 50 of palladium is used for catalytic converter, which is kind of interesting. I tell you what, let's go over some of these rings specifically right now. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to start off with a quick overview of all the rings. And these right here all the costume jewelry, I call them. Most of them are uh, plated copper with gold sometimes and silver and different things. And some of them can still look pretty good and be used, but sometimes these corrode pretty good. Uh, next, we're going to jump over to the corrosion-resistant ones. And these are basically stainless steel, titanium, tungsten carbide, and the likes. Is a Superman. And next, we're going to talk about sterling silver. Now, sterling silver holds up pretty good. But sometimes, if it's been in the water a long time, it'll turn almost black, like that real dark gray. But that'll clean up. But since it's been up, I probably won't take the time to do that one. But you can see I've taken the time to clean a lot of these up. Uh, I'll show you this one real quick. This is one of my favorite stolen silver rings right there. I clean that one up really good. It's got a little Indian face on it, but that one cleaned up really nice. I like that. Uh, another one I'll talk about real quick is this one right here. This one actually, uh, I, my diamond test is a real cheapy one. And it would give me good readings most of the time. So I said, well, that's a diamond. But why would they put it in sterling silver? So anyway, I took it up there because they do have other elements, like a, they call it a moissanite, that it could read positive for a diamond and be a moissanite. So I took it up to the jeweler today, a matter of fact. And he said that is a diamond. And it's a 0.6 carat. And I don't see any inclusions in it. In, the, in my microscope. Now I'll put a couple of pictures up there uh, where I took some pictures of it real close up. And it looks good. So I might have to get that one graded maybe. I don't know. And I uh, got right here. You know I love my gold. I'm loving gold right there. We're going to talk a little bit more about those in a minute. And these are platinum right there. Uh, this is one of my best rings I've found right there. This is a platinum ring. And it's a Tiffany. It's got 1999 Tiffany in it, and it, it weighs a lot. It's a nice ring. I buffed it out really good. It's like brand new. Another platinum. And this is what we were talking about earlier. This is the palladium ring, which is kind of interesting. First one I've ever found. It's the silvery metal, but it looks like they actually put some kind of uh, carbon fiber or something on the outside edge of it. But anyway, y'all know my favorite rings to find are the ones I get in return. Let's talk about them. Uh, Y'all know the rings I enjoy the most are the ones I can return to the owner and get that smile. Um, I ha I, every year what I do is I put together a um, uh, a sheet showing everybody's, uh, 
I, not only rings, I return cell phones and all kind of stuff that I find. But hey, I'll put a picture up here right now. <sighs> the picture of smiles. I love the smiles generated when they see something they thought they had lost forever. One of my favorite returns this year, and sometimes you gotta be a detective and hunt people down. I found a, almost a one carat diamond ring. Uh, looked at it, and uh, it was beautiful. Uh, but then I started looking at it under my microscope, and some of y'all might not know it, but if it's graded, GIA graded, they'll actually uh, imprint a microscopic serial number on the edge of the diamond. You can't see it unless you put it under a microscope and look. And I found a GIA number on it. And uh, so, hmm, can I track that person down through the number? Really, you can't because GIA certified diamonds for thousands and thousands of different jewelers around the country and world. But this ring had a name of a jewelry store in it that was right out in Virginia Beach, right where I, near where I found it. So I contacted the jewelry store, and uh, I said, I found this ring. It came from y'all. It's got a GIA number. Can you hunt the person down? And they did, and I was able to turn up her picture up there. She was, a, I think, a captain in the in a, um, U.S. Navy. Really happy to get that back to her. That was one of, one of my favorite returns this year right there. And I had to do all this text work to get it to her. So anyway, when I can return something to the right owner, they're my favorite finds. I love it. All right, rings come in all shapes and sizes. I'm going to take, this is that um, Tiffany platinum ring. We actually are going to weigh it right now. Let's check it out right here. Let's see if we can see that. 14.06 grams of platinum. That is beautiful right there. That's a nice, nice heavy ring. I think out of all the gold rings, I'm thinking this one right here is the heaviest. It's a pretty good size ring and it's very thick. 18 carat. Y'all want to weigh it up? Let's do it. 18 carat. 13.07 grams. That is one heavy ring right there. It's 18 karat. I'm loving that ring right there. Boy, I fall away that. Holy smoke. Then you get a lot of, I was like, sometime, like this looks like a big heavy ring, right? But this, you can tell it's really thin. You saw that, oh, it's 13 grams. Let's see what this one is. 2.72 grams. They can range, when you see that gold, they can range a long range in weight. This, now, this, these two don't look a lot alike, but if you look down on them, look how much thicker that one is than that one. This one weigh more than two grams, I guarantee you that. 9.85. Big difference. Big difference between those two rings. Four times as heavy as that one right there. And we got some, got some diamonds in it here. That's a pretty little diamond right there. Uh, love the gold. You know that. The gold's good stuff. Uh, these are the corrosion resistant. Now, even though these are not, um, Precious metals. I mean, you really can't sell them for the weight or anything. They don't really, aren't really worth anything there. A lot of them still hold up really well and look like brand new. A lot of them are really, really good shape. Like I said, and they aren't cheap if you go to buy them now. They are expensive if you go buy them, but you can't sell them for any kind of metal price on anything. But some of them look like brand new right there. And let's see what else we got here. Um... Let's see. Yeah, oh, Superman. That's what I was looking for. Right there. Superman ring right there. And it's nice. You can have that one engraved, actually. Pretty cool. Some of them are what they call spinner rings. It's like a little outside edge, and it's spin. That's one right there, I think. Yep. You spin it like that. Kind of interesting. And some of them have right. might have the Lord's Prayer on that thing or something. Interesting. But all kind of rings. It's just kind of interesting to see how all of them come in. Uh, some of these here, you know, will clean up and be able to be used. These are, uh, just plated costume jewelry type, but they will be able to use some of these for sure. Cleaned up. They don't look bad. But some of them are definitely jumpy going in a trash can. That's a trash can. And that's the half a ring right there I found. And this is the last gold ring found for 2023. And that was found in Nassau. 14 karat. That's not a bad little ring there. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if I even weigh that one. Let's see what that one weighs real quick. 14 karat Nassau ring. 7.13 grams. We'll take it all day long. Loving that gold. Of course, we did find a lot of other gold. You got gold. Two beautiful gold chains that were 
beautiful, biggest gold chains I've ever found. I'll try to get a picture up there of those. Um, earrings, um, bracelets, all kind of other gold that we found. But I just, this video is basically just concentrating on the rings. I just want to get go through those for you. Hopefully we'll do a little better next year. I'm hoping. Uh, can't wait for that summer to get in. Get out there with all the tourists and mingling in and finding lost rings. You know, that's my favorite. And uh, I'm on theringfinders.com. If you type in lost ring like Virginia Beach, I come up. So it, it helps a lot to be on the ring finders if any of y'all are interested in um, uh, trying to help people find rings because uh, people just type it in, uh, lost my ring, and normally that will come up for you. But uh, anyway, I appreciate everybody coming along. I want to thank everybody for joining me on my adventures this year and hope everybody can come along and join me in 2024. So we'll see you then. All right, well, hopefully all y'all find lots of treasure on the beaches and in life. Thanks for coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. We'll see you in 2024. Happy New Year.